Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Supplies, Subs, and Spies. So, in the last episode, I'm starting to get tired of this stalemate war. So, I am going to start working towards the naval invasion of Bordeaux and La Rochelle. And to that end, I now have two marine divisions. These were the... Oh, for fuck's sake, now we've got the... Now Nationalist Spain has joined the party. Whoopee. Be done by thirteenth. Because now we need to help hold this. Eighth of July. Five extra days. Right, so I think I'm going to... Hmm, but the, the these few on in... Wait, that might actually be a bit risky. Hmm. So the reason why I'm th looking at these naval invasions is because we can do a lot to harass the Axis with our... Well, that's hardly a surprise. That's unexpected. I have a very bad feeling about this. Nothing here that's really useful to me. Was tempted to send a create a new a new uh, army with some divisions and send them off to help up here, try and help hold this or possibly take it. Unfortunately, that's looking a bit questionable now. Oh, we have a new ace pilot. Hmm. 
Hmm, this one's quite good. Britain's hold in Gibraltar, which is hardly a surprise. It's heavily fortified. The submarines are helping a little bit. At this point, we're probably just providing recon capabilities for that. For that. And the sub and anti-submarine, anti-shipping patrols, submarine raiders. I cannot English. What I'm thinking of doing now is maybe dispatching these guys in a separate army to Gibraltar to help hold the line. I think I'm going to do that. Means we do need a new commander. And you are no longer going to be with, with one. You're going to be with... This is Archer overseas. Arm the Walia, home army. Britain, that is to say the Allies, have um, the intel advantage, we have forts, we have air support, we have air superiority, or, but these guys also have naval port as well. And the the Strait of Gibraltar are contested now, we're going to have a bit of a problem there. Ah, we can't do that because of an ongoing battle. Right, in that case, change the plan. Let's let's try helping to helping this area. And I am going to. these here go with In hindsight mountain infantry might be a good idea because we do have a lot of mountaineer mountain troops or mountainous regions no they might not be particularly high the uh Karen Hill, which is if I remember is in Kerry is somewhere around about here barely that's only a thousand forty one meters the Alps has nothing. Plus, if you're climbing them, you usually start from near sea level. So, yeah. Zero to uh, 800 is quite a climb. Go back this along here. Don't bother with naval strikes. Logistics, close air support, that's what we need to go for. This is going to go on air supply.
it's kind of risky for us to ship for us to ship troops because submarines something we're all too familiar with That's a defeat because we didn't sink anything. The way these divisions are set up is that infantry divisions are purely defensive, motorized are beefier, and will do actually, and will put up more of a fight on the attack. We're kind of low on supplies. But we're holding. We lost our torpedo bomber, or naval bomber rather, tactical bomber. So this is a twist I did not expect. They will in position. I think it's, I think we once the seventh infantry division gets up here, I'm going to prep an attack. This is going to be an infantry overseas. And the main difference is that they have logistics companies. Because that should help with the supply problem. Naval invasion planned of Iceland. Here our enemy, we're still preparing. Do or die time. We might give the might give these guys just a little bit of a reason to start pushing. Nope. This is just... How many do we need? Gosh. This was not something we needed. But the Brits are holding it. I mean, they're dug into a very good position there.
Population's too low to advance because we have barely got enough supplies for everything. This playthrough has really gone off the off the rails. It might be time to shift focus to Spain. It's gonna take a while to do that. Please don't tell me where I'll alter. Well, faulty. this up by go lower the sand so we can get that quicker so we can move on to this quicker and then this They have air superiority. Holy shit, this is ridiculous. There's a naval invasion targeting Ireland as well. Now in July 1945, after the war ended in our world, uh,
We haven't got enough supplies for this. It was starting to look like we were actually doing well. up the line so we can spread concentrate our forces a little bit better then let's turn this into a spearhead towards Tetuan and Situa no we're outnumbered there but Group convoy. Well, our sub, our subs are doing work there. North Iberian coast. We need to focus on the on this section here. That's a tactical bomber against some of these convoys. Naval invasions are hard. And I might just want to build a couple of coast supports here. I should have done this earlier. Yeah, they're... They're basically attacking mountainous terrain. Wicklow's probably not great for that. Maybe Wicklow Town would be, because that is a harbour. Ugh, when is this going to come? Animer. Well, Solwalt or Defender. This gets up to regular range. Only one of them survived to retreat. Suits me just fine. It's time to push, guys. Try and, try and help with this area. Crap. Let's just help with the air super supremacy.
They don't give up. They just don't give up. I go with this now because we do need the need to reduce this a bit. Will help. But yeah, war bonds aren't gonna do much. So we only need to have two available. Let's see. Team are getting some revenge on the revenge on the Spaniards. My situation still isn't great here, but it's improving. First of August, so tomorrow. It's also backed up by all the railway networks but they're a bit they're a bit quicker actually I'm gonna lower the lower these down a bit again come on her what do you have Aoife Aoife I'll share for which is Ian Ian Gaga. They're pretty much surrounded. They can't do much. We do need to get that. This episode did not go the way I planned. I'll leave this one for now. See you in the next one. Bye for now.